What is going on everybody and welcome to Mountain Motorsports in Marietta. I am Chase on two wheels and yes the bike in front of you is a KTM RC 390. It is a 2017. This bike has been out for a while and it has taken me forever to finally do a first ride on it. I have got endless questions from you guys. You're like Chase this is the only beginner bike that you like sport style beginner bike that you have not done a first ride on. So Thanks to the lovely people at Mountain Motorsports, uh, their Marietta location has KTMs. So, we are doing the first ride on the 2017 KTM RC390. Finally, let go. Oh snap, KTM ready to race. All right, guys, first off, my apologies for taking so long to get to the KTM RC390. Not only, let's crank it up real quick, as in first, neutral. Oh, okay, KTM, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I rode a KTM. I did a Super Duke a while back ago, did an RC8 back in the day. I don't get to do a lot of KTMs, but now that uh, Mountain Motorsports has KTMs, or now that I'm doing a lot of first rides at Mountain Motorsports in the Marietta location, I can actually do more. I do want to apologize because in all of my other beginner bike first rides, I never mentioned the RC390, mostly because I forgot, and then the other half of that is that I've never ridden it, so I couldn't really talk to it, but those days are finally changing. What is this? The coolant is in the front? What is this bike? Oh, look at this side stand down. Okay, guys, first things first. The majority of beginner bikes, you have this kind of upright situation. This bike, I'm like R6. I would say this bike has leaned over more than the R6. So from this side shot, you can kind of see how much I'm leaned over. And I mean, now that I've ridden this bike, I've ridden all of the you know beginner bike super sport styled ones and this is the first one where it's like i'm leaned way over you can kind of see it in there and if i'm not leaned way over i don't know what i look like right now obviously i me can't see me but i feel really leaned over a lot uh so just be ready for that if you're a beginner rider i feel like it's easier to uh ride an upright motorcycle as opposed to, you know, really leaned over and in an aggressive situation. What I've heard a lot of people say is this is the uh, race beginner bike. So, you know, keep that in mind. Where's the blinker? Not really happy with that. Oh, it's got the squishy blinker. No! That sucks. I do get a gear indicator, though, which is pretty freaking awesome. I got a fuel gauge. All right, we've got a lot of cool stuff. Freaking adjustable levers? I'm starting to see why everybody calls this the race beginner bike. This this doesn't really feel like a beginner bike to me. It feels like feels like a race bike. Uh, also, as far as height, I'm 5'10". I got some bent leg situation going on. Uh, a shorter rider could totally do this bike. It, it's totally manageable for a shorty. On your marks, get set, go. Oh wow, that's more punch than I expected. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, this bike has got a lot of little grunt up front. I'm I'm surprised. I've, I haven't felt a beginner bike have that kind of grunt. You know, we're up in fifth gear going 100? <laughs> what? Wait, oh no, it's in kilometers per hour. Oh no, I'm not gonna know if I'm speeding or not. 
This is, uh, this is awkward, okay. Uh, so guys, when I say that the turn signal doesn't really have a lot of, it, it's squishy, it's not, you don't get a lot of feedback from it, which I don't really like. You know, it's one of those situations where you find yourself and you're like, did I push the turn signal? You don't really know. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a race beginner, this is a beginner race bike is what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if they took the mirrors off stock because you could totally buy this thing and have a good track day. Wait, why is the red shift light on already? It's gonna look like I'm going so fast because it's <laughs> because I've got the freaking uh in the kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. Whatever, I'll I'll make an assumption. Maybe I can change that up here to light. It's not really flicky back and forth, and I think I should have probably attribute that to the bike being in a race position. I feel like I'm having to try to let's test the brakes real quick. God, it's good to know it's got front and rear ABS. Whew. That was a little bit of a quick stop. The brakes aren't terrible. Like, I didn't just blow through that light, so <laughs> good on the brakes. I, it also is safe to say I don't know how to change it. I don't even know if this is how you press this button. Okay, so that is, like, the buttons are pressing. Nothing. Damn. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in kilometers an hour, not miles per hour. Oh, well. So uh, I know that this bike is in warranty mode. Supposedly, these bikes can't go over 300 miles before, like, if you go, they go over 300 miles, they're like out of warranty and they have to be sold or something like that. That's probably what the transport lock means. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so we're on a beginner bike. We're at a red light. We're in kind of a downtown situation. There's a cop across the street. Probably can't accelerate to where the cop would give a shit, but let's see what kind of grunt the bike has. All right. <laughs> For a beginner bike, that's so awesome. Off the bat, I, I, I don't have to ride this thing far to already tell you, if you were looking for a bike to ride and you might want to do a track day and you're wanting a beginner bike, there is no other bike you should be looking at. Not like, stop your looking, like buy this motorcycle. You could, I could legit, like with my experience, I feel like I could take this bike, go to a track day and have a really good time. Kind of sad that I'm not at a track day right now, but it's okay. We will make the best of it. And they're actually good. The mirrors are actually pretty decent. They're huge and have wings, but like, you know what? I can look past that. <laughs> okay, I can't get enough of the just randomly speed up for no reason shit. I'm just gonna keep doing that. So guys, we got the highway entrance coming up on the little KTM RC 390. Now, this is the 2017 model. I know a couple things have changed since this bike actually came out. This one has this uh, actual bigger exhaust. The old model had a exhaust underneath it. From what I understand, this bike is a little uh, heavier than the old model, but they've done something with the fairings where the fairings like taper in more. So you can actually ride this thing as hard as you'd, you know, you'd want to. All right, so we're on the beginner bike going to the highway. Typically, these bikes are kind of meant on the highway. It, it is what it is, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta give some to take some. But with this bike having such a forward body position, I feel kind of good about the highway. I feel like the highway is gonna be not terrible. Now what the engine's gonna be like, revved up high in the highway, I'm not really sure. All right, so we're in fifth gear, puttering around 6,000. Right, so let's merge into traffic. That's not red line. That's just, so the shift light comes on way earlier than it really needs to. Oh, that wind is rough. Oh my goodness. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going 140 miles an hour. I just want to remind all of you that. <laughs> I would be I would be going past these cars way faster. You know, so at these speeds, whatever 100 kilometers an hour is, the bike feels solid. Like, I can't feel any wind right now at all. That might be because there's a giant semi next to me. But if I come out here and kind of get out of that little buffered zone, 
the wind is really not terrible and like I'm saying like I could sit back some and I could tuck in and there's a lot of wind protections so the little screen the little screen mixed with uh, the body position actually does really well the, like this bike is 100% solid here on the highway I have no gripes about this at all I'm actually a little surprised at how well a beginner bike does on the highway I don't know what kind of liquid is coming out of that truck and I don't want it to get on me all right so an overtake situation truck behind me we're in six gear got plenty of passing power to get around all these people this is not bad man it's not bad at all let's tuck in and see what we can do <laughs> oh man the beginner bike is, su is surprising me man i did not expect that. that's a little shady but whatever I'm I am impressed with the little RC390. A lot of people told me with this bike, it's uh it's it feels like the most powerful bike of the beginner bike class, and that is without a doubt what this bike is right now. Man, as far as beginner bikes on the highway go, RC390 might might do it for me there too. By the way, guys, this is saying a lot because up until now the r3 has been my like go-to bike to uh you know send people to send beginners to the r3 is a phenomenal bike the only place damn them brakes is smoking bro the only person i think i would push to this bike instead of an r3 would be a more sport focused bike person you know if, if you're looking for a, a little more sport than the r3 has like that's where you'd probably want to go to a to this guy but this has been awesome so while we're sitting at a red light uh the controls are a little clunky like these guys are big the handlebars are fine i like the addition of the adjustable brake and the clutch that's pretty uh, pretty clutch sorry sorry i made that joke as far as the screen wise i'm not a huge fan of that i don't like these buttons that i can't tell if i press them in or not uh, you know, I, I need more clicky. I, I need, uh, I want, I even want the turn signal to be more clicky, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, like, whether I'm going to buy or not buy a bike is not going to be dependent on if the blinkers are clicky or not, or if the, if the instrument panel has a good button, you know, like, that's not going to be why you buy or don't buy a motorcycle. You know, it is, I feel like it's important anyway, because those are things that like get on my nerves with, uh, with bikes as I ride them. Kind of wish I had more engine braking, you know, for, for the amount of grunt that the bike has, you have to get to first before you really actually start feeling any engine braking. So that would be nice. I feel like the engine braking doesn't really match the power of the actual bike, which is odd. You know, you would think the engine braking would just be the inverse of the throttling, not in this case. If you are a KTM fan, you have to like Orange. There is no option for you to enjoy a motorcycle if you own a KTM and you not like Orange. So that's like that's like the entry fee for liking KTM and, and wanting to ride a KTM bike. Is that the is that this bike? Is it already hot? Oh shit, it is. Uh oh, we we have a true little race bike. It does not like not moving. It's not a fan of that, and it has really good torque and can turn well. <laughs> speaking to the handling of the bike real quick you know like i said you're, you're really up forward on the bike and that gives you a different type of control that you get it's definitely different from when you're upright on the bike whereas over when you're laid down and with a lot of uh entry-level bikes they're very small they're very light and they can be thrown back and forth this one can be thrown back and forth but it's not in the same way it, it feels more sluggish but because of that i feel a lot more planted when going back and forth you know if i was able to just kind of like swing the bike back and forth i wouldn't really feel solid in a turn you know like i was on the turn and i was like the bike wasn't going to low side on me or anything like that but that's very different on this bike you know it's not like the other beginner bikes this one feels like yeah bro we're good i don't know if that's the tires or if that's the body position it's something but uh again it kind of pushes you more towards that racy position 
All right, guys, so uh, we're going to get off the bike for a second and take a look at it. I know you guys got to see it in the get-go of the video, but I'm going to take a look at it again. So there we are, uh, 2017 KTM RC90. Looks-wise, I think this is probably the most unique looking of the beginner sport bikes. And that, that's not because of the orange, you know, that's because of this... It has these odd kind of bubbly eyes. It's got this entire clear plastic piece that kind of fits over everything, which is really weird. It makes it so where you can sit in the in the cockpit, if you want to call it that, and you can see the road down here. It's, it's really interesting. I really like the frame. I, I love the look um, of having, I don't know, it just feels kind of raw. That's interesting. Look at that. So they've got the exhaust coming right through here, comes down, and then the uh the end comes out over here that's really interesting i guess that's their way of tucking in that big old what is that catalytic converters whatever the hell that's called you know ktm's got their orange black and and white situation going on comes with freaking orange rims which is great so one thing that's really cool about this bike that i don't think a lot of the other beginner bikes have is you guys can see the little abs notches in the rear right <laughs> has the exact same thing in the front you've got abs in the front and rear and i know for experienced riders you know some of you guys don't want rider aids but for beginner riders i love that beginner riders can have abs it makes it so much safer if anything god forbid happens and you slam on the brakes front or rear on this bike the bike's not going to low side you're not going to lose the front or the rear as far as beginner bikes go actually screw that as far as bikes go this angular like tapering in got to be one of the best like imagine and this is the tail light i don't know if you guys can tell look at that look at the tail light dude god that looks so good Th just little details like that man i'm not a fan of the exhaust i think it's really tiny we're gonna listen to that in a second but you can get a different exhaust man the bike like the body of the bike probably probably my favorite i feel bad saying that you know being an r3 guy that thinks the r3 is a solid machine and it is but if i were to restart riding if i was to start riding now knowing what i know i think i would probably let's not get run over uh i would probably how's it going There you go, there's your drum set. Um, so anyways guys, that's all I got. Oh, look at the swing arm. Even the swing arm looks all opened up and shit. Wait, is it? Oh, KTM. <laughs> KTM, you have this raw look and I absolutely love it. All right guys, so uh, I tell you guys every time, uh, we're about to crank the bike up and listen to the exhaust, the stock exhaust, stock bike. But uh, if you guys wanna hear the exhaust with a very nice microphone or see some really nice photos that you can download, whatever, I always do photos and an exhaust clip on my website. I do a little blog post as well, chase on two wheels dot uh, space. There's gonna link in the description, so go check it out. If you're a big fan of this bike and wanna download some photos or something like that. But without further ado, let us crank the 2017 KTM RC390. It's a long name. It's a quiet exhaust. <laughs> there we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's a it's a beginner bike. You you gotta be prepped for that. You shouldn't expect a really grunty loud exhaust. But it is what it is. Get yourself a new exhaust, call it a day. It's another thing I like about this bike and I appreciate. This looks like a cowling, like a, a rear seat cow cowl, you know, like a fairing piece that you replace a normal seat with. So you get the cowling look, but it's soft, so somebody could sit there. Oh, that's good times. Alright, let us continue. <laughs> Not me, man. <laughs> he said do a wheelie and a donut. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Dude, I promise you. <laughs> I will say the suspension's a little soft because you, you guys see how far the bike goes up. And I'm, I'm sure the front wheel didn't move. But the suspension just is very squishy. It didn't feel that bad in, in, while riding, but, you know, putting the suspension under some stress... 
This one's a little squishy, which is odd for a race bike. Typically race bikes have a really hard suspension. You want to be able to feel all the bumps. <laughs> but I guess beginner race bikes don't have that. I feel confident. Oh, I thought that control was going to go. I'd be like, dude, I'm, I got this. <laughs> you know, I'm realizing the more I ride this bike is KTMs in general, but this bike specifically, they always like to be ridden hard. So it's like similar to Ducatis. A lot of Ducatis, if you don't ride them hard, they don't really feel right. This bike is that same situation as some of the Ducatis are where the harder you ride it, it's almost like you get you get rewarded for riding the bike hard. You know, the bike feels like that's the zone it's supposed to be in. <laughs> and that is on a tiny little bike. Wow, she got really close. Wow, okay, we're all just getting as close as we possibly can. Cool. Got the headlights in front. Are they LED? They don't look like it. Oh, the brights are only, they only light up another one of the eyes. That's kind of stupid. Both eyes should light up. So guys, coming to an end here. Oh, the first ride of this uh, RC390. Uh, overall thoughts, I feel like this is the raciest version of a beginner sport bike that you can buy. Body position is very much more aggressive than any of the other uh, beginner bikes. This bike is much torquier, at least from the get-go, compared to the other bikes. And engine-wise, I think this one might be my favorite because... I don't, the top end's not amazing, but because you have that grunty low end, you get that feeling that the bike is actually faster than it is, which is awesome for a beginner bike, because you know a lot of people are like, I don't want a beginner bike because it's slow or something like that. This bike is gonna at least fool you into like, you know, being aggressive uh, down low. I think the body position is not gonna be for everyone, I will say that. I would only suggest this bike to somebody that is looking for a beginner bike but wants of like you have aspirations to do a track day uh you know you're going to be riding in the mountains or your buddies a lot that's the kind of person that i would really push towards this bike if you've got a bunch of friends and you guys are starting to ride or you're considering riding and you want to be the aggressive guy of your group this is the bike you get trust me don't say anything else go test ride it and then let me know what you think about it because i promise you you're going to get on this and then go get on like an r3 or uh or a CBR 250 or something like that. I promise you, you will see this and be like, damn, son. But you know, everybody's got their own fit and feel, man. Somebody might like aggressive riding. Somebody might like a more upright position that's more comfortable. Comfort-wise, I feel like I find this bike very comfortable, but that's from somebody that's been riding an R6 or had an R6 for a very long time, you know, and I got very used to riding in a certain position on a, on a race-centered motorcycle. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for the uh, KTM RC390, the 2017 model. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. This has been a C2Dub first ride. Thanks to the guys at Mountain Motorsports. I grabbed this one from Marietta, this location we're coming up here. Uh, without those guys, I would not get to ride any of these bikes. So uh, if you guys are in the Georgia area, in the North Georgia area, these guys got locations all over the place. I highly recommend just stopping in. Let them know, hey, saw a first drive video from Chase on Two Wheels, and I had to come check out the spot. Anyways, guys, their information will be in the uh, description down below if you want to check out their website and what they got and all that kind of stuff. And guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and uh, share the video out to somebody that is either starting to ride or wants to look into the KTM RC390. It's a, uh, it's a solid, solid beginner bike. You know what? I'm, I'm making it official. I'm saying it on the video. Favorite beginner bike. I honestly, I honestly feel like that was my favorite one to ride. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Later.